welcome. The idea here is to have a little bit of fun with uh, data and try to learn new stuff and share some experience. And it's the first one, so it's going to be probably lame. Um, but uh, let's uh, let's let's try to get started and, uh, and have a little fun with 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 data. Uh, it's completely unscripted. Uh, I know what I want to teach you today. Um, I have no PowerPoint first episode. Um, and uh, so we'll just try a few things and see how you'll like it and get your feedback. And hopefully maybe it lasts five minutes, maybe 15 minutes, maybe it'll be a huge success and we will be there as a whole day. Uh, I kind of doubt it. Anyway, um, so um, the example I wanted to talk to you about today is really about loading a CSV file, just a basic CSV file within Apache Spark. And to do that, uh, this is kind of the prerequisite to do any, any big data, any data work with, with, with Spark. So that's the idea for today. Um, and uh, we'll see how that gets, okay? So as you can, I've got the bouncing ball of death. Okay, let me move that here. Okay, great. Um, full screen. Okay. So, well, this is this is what's happening when you get a new, fresh, new eclipse. So let's uh, uh, let's do that and let's start coding. And to do that, I am also going to change my camera as soon as eclipse. Okay. Okay. Glad, glad to see you guys. Okay, so we'll go to my workbench here. And so as you see, I don't have any Java project here. It's completely blank. Um, so let's, let's get started by opening a perspective. Here I'm opening my Git perspective um, because I'm going to download a project from Git. Uh, this project is easily, you can easily find it. Uh, it's one of the sample for my book. Um, and you can see here it's uh, github.com slash jgparen slash net dot jgp dot books dot spark dot ch01 for chapter 01. Okay. Uh, once you're in this page, you can just uh, click on this small button here. Okay. And that's copying actually the URL in your desk in your um, in your clipboard. So it just copied here. I just go here. The Eclipse is just great. I just paste here. You see, I'm in my Git perspective. I just paste my URL here, and what happens is it just magically fills all the settings I need for uh, for my project. So that's pretty cool, actually. Okay. Um, just go next. This is all the all the branches I have. Uh, so I'm just getting my project here. Well, uh, and oop, yeah. Oh, wrong. We yeah, wrong directory. Let's uh, let's put it in our in our new workspace. Okay. So um, let's move that. I keep that here. Yeah, I don't like the default project and it's all the settings has been reset it's it's a new um, it's a new um, workspace so uh, here you see my home directory on my Mac and here workspaces that's usually where I put all my stuff so you can see a little bit of, of what I've been working on um, so okay and I am just going to use this and I don't want slash get, I want slash the name of my project here. Okay. So slash users slash JGP slash workspaces uh, slash. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm going too quickly. I wanted to call it data Friday. And the name of my project. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. I hope you can read it. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit, um, uh, it's a bit small here. Uh, Okay, let's continue. See, my project is here. Okay, so when my project is here, I am just going to right click on it and I'm going to, to import it. 
import my project see here uh, it shows my source it shows the project name so I'm just going to click finish down there you see the progress if I click on it you will see that Maven is actually doing some work Note that my Maven already has all the libraries, so it may actually take a bit more time for you um, if it's the first time you're running with all the libraries I'm using in this project. Okay. It's kind of done. So I could go back to my Java perspective. And on my Java perspective, you see my project here. Okay, um, it's all fine, no red dots or whatever. Um, if I look at my data folders, I've got a books.csv file. Um, I can have a look at my palm here, which is my project definition, and you can see in my project definitions that oh, I'm using an old version of Spark here. So let's just change it to to that. 245, which is the latest version, and actually using Scala 211. Okay, so here, if I'm doing that, you will see that here the building is taking a little bit more time because it's downloading the updated versions. Okay, see, things are, things are coming, things are coming, it takes a little time, and uh. Okay, nothing to worry about. Plenty of bandwidth here. And I think it's okay. So now I can actually look at my um, my, my application here in SRC main Java. And you see here my, my application, my first lab here is called CSV to data frame app. So if I click on it, sorry double click on it I see my huge code for doing that so let's see if it works first okay let's run it so I do run run as Java application it looks like there's a little bit of work here it's good making it a bit bigger It's live and it's a it's a completely fresh workspace. Uh, okay, hey, it started and it actually worked, and uh, I just didn't even have the time to wait for that. Okay, so basically, what happened here is my output. Okay, so it uh, it's displaying five records. Okay, when it says only showing top five rows, five records which are stored in an entity we call a data frame in spark and you can see one two three four five columns okay um let's have a look at my data just to make sure that i'm not completely uh, this is kind of making sense oh okay so here is my csv sorry it might be a little bit small on your screen and you see one two three four five okay so here's my five um, and you see more records and you see only here only five uh, rows of records okay so what happened and uh, let's look at the code and and uh, so of this very basic example um, so I imported a few things okay Th those are those are those are important those are telling my application what what to use pretty straightforward it's part session a row and a data set um, I've got a public class called CSV to data frame app. Um, and I don't like to put everything in my main. I think it's it's getting ugly at some point. So I'd like to have a just an instance of my app and start it. Um, when it started, uh, first thing I need to do is build a Spark session. Okay, so a Spark session, Spark here, call my call my static method builder from the spark session i give it a name okay so so i know what what it's called uh in the spark logs and so that's csv to dataset okay very original name 
Uh, then I'm telling uh, Spark where to run it, and we'll talk more about Spark architecture, but it's not the topic today. So here I'm running it locally, uh, and then I am asking the builder to get one, to get a session or create one, okay? Uh, from this Spark session, actually, I can actually ask my Spark session here to read. Uh, the format is going to be CSV. The option uh, is going to be, I'm going to use an option here, which is telling Spark, hey, I've got a header, okay? And the next part is just load the, the, the CSV file. So it's data slash books.csv. Straightforward, okay? Uh, and finally, I'm asking uh, Spark to show five records. So there's plenty of different options here. I can actually play with them. Uh, if you see that they are truncated here, okay, when to there's, the records are too big, uh, I'm going just to ask Spark here, hey, I don't want to truncate that, and I'm just going to run it again. Okay, it's running. Uh, Okay, see, it's not truncated anymore. So I have exactly all the titles here uh, of my books as I have them here. Okay, all the f all the f the first five of my um, of my uh, CSV file, and um, yeah, and if I want if I want more, uh, you probably guess that I can actually change here and having something like fifteen. That's kind of a, a bit of a silly example. Anyway, so while it's running, uh, I this is my f this is my first of the series. This is ep episode zero, uh, which is probably the worst ever going to be. Uh, but uh, I'm really happy that you joined. Um, this uh, will be probably a little bit edited, and I'll put back and I'll put that on YouTube on my channel. And uh, see, the result is uh, is there. Um, where I'm actually displaying uh, 15 of the books, okay? And Spark is graceful, uh, grace, graceful enough to tell me that it's only showing me 15 rows out of my entire data set. Well, so, uh, thank you guys, and uh, see, you, uh, see you next time, okay? Bye! <laughs>